Welcome back to another episode of On Again with Andre Lynn. Today we're going to be using our Caesar Juliet cutter to make a streetwear brand. And we're going to import this design using a PNG file into our Leonardo Design Studio software. Let's go. So here we are in the Leonardo Design Studio software. I'm going to go straight down to design. I'm going to go to file, import. I'm going to select my PNG file. I'm going to open that. I'm going to hit next here. And next again. And finish. Now, what's happening is it's taking this PNG file and it believes that, I believe, that it believes that this PNG file is supposed to be a print and cut. I'm going to go to my artboard over here on the side and I'm going to uncheck where it says print and cut job. And then I'm going to size this how I want it. This will be a left chest print. So make this a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to send design, select the artwork, send. All right. And it is mirrored already for me, which is great. And I'm going to go now at this point and just go ahead and set up my vinyl. So, so for this, I'll be using my Caesar uh, white easy weed. Grab my scissors. I'm going to grab my small mat here. I power on my Juliet cutter machine. Make sure my blade is off to the side. Line it up. Slide it in. All the way to the back. Easy way to select it, go back, go ahead and send the cutter. Yes. Hey, waiting to get right, only leave you left behind. Up goes the early bird soaring down. Scrounge around for whatever words might be obtainable. Never knew who flew about theirs first. So what's available? Not a lot, it seems. What you gonna do for it? Anything I means? Type of dedication you gotta have as you're blazing the path. Never know who's trailing you, hoping to get familiar with the ways of the things. All done. Pull that forward, bring it out. I'm gonna go get my next image. Always told to shine bright. You see it in my eyes. Who we found high among the low. Yeah. Ain't no side. For this next image, I'm breaking out the big boy. The big 24-inch mat. And so for this one, I'm gonna be changing the mat to the larger size. Right in here. First of all, I'm gonna delete this. Right in here. Mirrored already. Send the cut. Right now, cause we ain't got time at all. No. Ain't no time in this, so we don't go. There's no slowing down. No, no. Right now, cause the ways and things that we do fall. I don't know what I was thinking with this image, but if this works, watch out. Okay. Just 
look at the detail. Look at the detail. Let me put this somewhere where y'all can see it. Those O's don't have dots in them, so they're supposed to be solid like that. That's the way the artist made it, or the font that the artist used. Barcode, got it. No problems. Warning, got it. No problems. Thin lines, got it. No problems. Well, I will say the the Y, the T, and the I, and the L all tried to walk away. Those did try to walk away. I started right here, peeling here, and they tried to walk away. So I was worried, but the rest of it, it just did not, didn't move. Did what it was supposed to do. All right, y'all, so my heat press is officially up to temp at 305 degrees. I'm going to be pressing a gilded 100% cotton shirt for uh, 10 to 15 seconds using my uh, Caesar Easy Weed White. Um, these will be, that'll be linked down in the description below. I'll be using my Waller Press 16 by 20 auto open with the version 3 V3 slide out drawer. That'll also be linked down in the description below if you're looking for it, as well as the uh, Caesar, Romeo, and Juliet cutter machine. Down in the description below also, by the way, is a link to the Romeo and Juliet cutter machine Facebook group. If you guys want to join that for tips and tricks on how to use this thing, showing off work, so on and so forth, feel free. All right, so let's get started. So we at 305 degrees. I'm going to get this, do the shirt a lint roll. Go ahead and give my t-shirt a pre-press. Try to get it nice and even, as even as possible on the platen under the drawer. Give it a pre-press just to get the moisture out and the wrinkles out. Slide this open. All right, now I'm gonna grab my Big helper here, which I use for my left chest prints. This shirt is a extra large. So, uh, fold it image to image as even as possible. And I want my oh, all right here. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and press this for 15 seconds, 305. All right, hot peel, peel that on off. Go ahead and give it a second press. Not for as long. About five seconds or so. Slide that off. Looking good, nice and synced in. Brought to life. Now we're gonna go on the back, make it as even as possible. All right, get my lint roller. Nice little lint roll. Press down for pre-press. All right, got that moisture out. Make sure I find that center. I wanna make sure that I just kinda miss the, uh, I wanna make sure that I miss the collar. I don't wanna press on top of the collar, all right? Line this up image to image. Place that right in the center. That is about right. Go ahead and set that down. 
Make sure we got everything looking nice and as smooth as possible. Looking good. Go ahead and give it a press. 305, 15 seconds again. All right, same thing, hot peel. Whew. All right, we're gonna give it another press just to sink it in. Looking good. Look at that. Whew. There y'all have it. PNG. With great detail. Amazing detail. So, all right, y'all, until next time, don't forget about the Facebook group that's down in the description below, as well as everything else you use here today, down in the description below. Uh, if y'all got something out of this, hit that like button and uh, leave your comments and questions down below. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time I drop a video. All right, y'all, we out. Peace.